Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon. But if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. Undeniably great is the mystery of devotion, who was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. The word of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. All great are the works of the Lord. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. All great are the works of the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another, we played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. In just a few words in our epistle, our first reading this morning, St. Paul certainly says an awful lot. Of course, he's giving very pastoral, practical advice to Timothy, who is a 
He is a leader of a faith community. And so Paul, who yearns to be with them, of course, can't be everywhere, so he writes these wonderful epistles, these letters to bolster their faith, to sometimes criticize, to challenge them, but also to build up. Just in a few words, and he speaks just to us as well. You should know how to behave in the household of God. He's not talking about how we should behave in church. They didn't have really church buildings back then yet. So then what is the church, the household of God? It's the people of God, because that's really what the church is. It's that visible manifestation of the risen body of Christ that extends through all time and space, our behavior amongst ourselves, the church of the living God, pillar and foundation of all truth. And so at the very core of that church, and we who are members, is as Paul tells us, the one who is manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by the angels. Of course, it's Jesus. In other words, Paul is just saying in a few very succinct words that as Christians baptized, grafted onto Jesus Christ, who is the vine, and we who are the branches, Everything that we are, everything that we do is through Christ. And we need to remind ourselves of that every day. We know how challenging, thing that, how challenging that can be in our daily lives, in the bumps and bruises of daily life, the unpredictability of whatever else falls into our laps each day. But over and over, as we become more perfected in that love of Christ, we need to get better at seeing Christ in everything that we do, in everything that we are. It's the challenge of the day. It's a challenge in these trying times in our world to see Christ, even in the most broken places. But that's what we believe and that's what we profess to the greater glory of God. And God wants our complete devotion to him and his son, Jesus. So let us manifest this devotion in our hearts with our prayers of petition that the church may show devotion to the teachings of Jesus by standing up to those in power who would ignore the needs of the poor or who plan acts of violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that governments around the world may move away from their vast expenditures for military weapons and use the money for programs to assist the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. For anyone in our faith community who feels abandoned by God, that we may notice their suffering and reach out with our support and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. For each of us here this morning, that we may be open to the guidance of the Holy Spirit and deepen our devotion to Jesus and his teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, and especially in this mass, we remember the repose of the soul of Aaron Werner. For all who have lived lives of piety and devotion to God, that they may now experience the total love of God in heaven 
Let us pray to the Lord. And for our own special needs that we voice in the silence of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, you ask us to have hearts full of devotion, courage, and compassion. Help us to nurture these qualities as we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 